Hi, welcome to the Snap It Masterclass with me, Barney, and one of the best photographers in the world, Sir David Lofton. And welcome back to part three in our series of how to become a better photographer. Today we're going to be talking about depth of field. David, what is it? Depth of field is essentially the blur in your photo. As you see from this photo that we've set up, the first apple is in focus, the second apple is softer, and the third apple is softer still. Now, the difference in focus between front and back is the depth of field. So, let's talk about our settings. It's very simple to understand. The smaller the number, the less will be in focus, and the bigger the number, the more will be in focus. Now, often we use depth of field to show the focus on the object that we want to be most in the mind's eye. So, for example, the first apple, we want that to be your focus. So we allow everything to romantically go off. Now occasionally we use depth of field because something is not very pretty, so we use depth of field to get rid of whatever is not very nice in the photo. But here we're doing it as a sort of romantic focus on our main image. So I'm going to shoot the front apple on 1.2 first. So if I focus on my apple, actually I'm going to give it a little spritz because I haven't done that yet. This is a very handy little tip instant freshness. So I'm going to focus on my apple and if I shoot it now, so I've shot it at an 800th of a second at 1.2. The front apple is completely in focus and it just goes into a painterly soft background. Now that to me is really, really pretty. So now I'm going to F16. You can do this with your phone as well. If you're, if you're on a slow speed, very important to be very steady. So I'm resting my elbows on my legs as steady as possible. Now if you've got a strap around your, your camera, you can really pull and use your strap as almost like a tripod. And it's very good at making you very steady. F16 everything's in focus. Now which is better? I prefer the softer one, but maybe it's an in-between, maybe an aperture in-between in the middle. So you get a softness, but you can still see detail. So there's no right way or wrong way. What it does is it just gives you two very different photos from the same setting. There you are, everything you need to know about depth of field. Now go off and have some fun. Remember to experiment.